Building a compact PC, maybe a sleek media center, or a small gaming rig is really appealing. But finding a graphics card that delivers solid performance and actually fits in that tiny case? That can be a real headache. You simply don't want to compromise. That's why in this video we're looking into the top 5 best low-profile GPUs that are currently making waves. Let's head right in. Let's begin with a fantastic budget-friendly option, the PowerColor AMD Radeon RX 6400 Low Profile. If you need dedicated graphics for a small build and you're also watching your wallet, this is definitely one you'll want to check out. So, what makes it tick? Well, it's built on AMD's RDNA 2 architecture, which is pretty solid tech. You're looking at 4GB of GDDR6 memory here. Now, it runs on a 64-bit bus, leading to about 128GB per second of memory bandwidth. That's generally enough for the kinds of tasks this card is designed for. Clock speeds seem quite decent for this category too. It has a game clock around 2039 MHz and can boost up to 2321 MHz when conditions allow. That gives it a bit of pep for graphics tasks. But here's what really makes it shine for compact builds. It's incredibly low power draw. This thing sips power, requiring only about 53 to 64 watts. That's amazing because it means you don't need any extra power connectors from your power supply. It just pulls what it needs straight from the motherboard slot. And that zero decibel mode is great for keeping your workspace nice and quiet. Now performance-wise, this card is really aimed at entry-level 1080p gaming. Think esports titles or older games. Plus handling multimedia and general productivity tasks smoothly. It's probably not going to run the newest and most demanding AAA games at ultra settings, but that's not its purpose. So who is this card really for? Well, it's perfect for budget builders, anyone putting together an ultra-compact home theater PC, or if you just need a simple graphics upgrade for an older system without needing a beefy power supply. And then we have the MSI Gaming RTX 3050 LP 6G OC. This one's for those looking for solid performance without necessarily grabbing the very latest generation tech. But it's a strong mid-range player that still brings a lot to the table. What you get here is an NVIDIA RTX 3050, but squeezed into that low-profile design. It comes equipped with 6GB of GDDR6 memory. That's a nice bump up, and it uses a 128-bit bus, which helps provide enough bandwidth for smoother 1080p gaming, even at medium to high settings in many titles. Under the hood, it's packing 3072 CUDA cores, and it has a boost clock hitting around 2520 MHz, giving it some extra muscle. That's pretty respectable processing power for such a compact card. But more importantly, it supports NVIDIA's DLSS technology. If you're not familiar, DLSS can give you a significant performance boost in games that support it, which is fantastic for getting more frames per second. Plus, you get access to excellent ray tracing capabilities. Getting both DLSS and ray tracing in a low-profile card? That's a pretty compelling package, especially when you consider it likely comes in at a more accessible price point than the newer stuff. It seems like it's received quite positive feedback too, based on what users are saying. So if you're building a compact system, need good 1080p performance, and want those extra NVIDIA features like DLSS without breaking the bank, this MSI RTX 3050 LP looks like a really well-balanced option. It definitely seems to hit a sweet spot for most low-profile builders. Next, we've got the Intel Arc B580 Low Profile. Intel might be newer to the dedicated graphics game compared to the others, but it seems they've really hit their stride, especially with offerings like this. Now, what really makes this B580 LP stand out? It's the memory. This card packs a whopping 12GB of GDDR6 VRAM. That's quite a bit more than some of its direct competitors in the low-profile space. Why does that matter? Well, if you do things like video editing or 3D rendering, having that extra graphics memory can make a huge difference. It helps handle larger files and more complex projects much more smoothly. Think smoother scrubbing through timelines or faster rendering previews. Intel also has its own upscaling technology called XESS. It works similarly to NVIDIA's DLSS, or AMD's FSR, helping to boost performance in games, and from what people are seeing, XESS barely lags behind competitively. But here's a unique strength for the ARC B580, media encoding. Intel has put a lot of focus on AI-powered video processing. What that means for you, especially if you're a content creator, is potentially much faster video export times. That's a massive win if you're frequently rendering out projects. You might have heard about early driver issues with Intel ARC cards. The good news is, those seem to be largely ironed out now. So it looks like a solid, reliable option today. Overall, the Intel ARC B580 LP seems like a compelling choice, particularly if you're a creator needing that extra VRAM and top-notch media encoding, or even a gamer who could benefit from the larger memory pool. At number 2, we've got the AMD Radeon RX 7600 LP. This is a really strong contender, especially if you tend to favor Team Red, or you're looking for top-notch performance that might be a little more accessible than the absolute peak. 
it strikes a fantastic balance. So what's it packing? You get 8 GB of GDDR6 memory here. That's a solid amount, definitely enough to handle most modern games and content creation tasks comfortably. You shouldn't feel too constrained by memory limitations with this one. Now, AMD brings its own magic trick to the party with Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR 3.0. Think of it like AMD's answer to DLSS. It's designed to boost your frame rates significantly, often without a noticeable hit to image quality. That's especially valuable in a low-profile card like this, where keeping heat and power in check is key. FSR can really help you squeeze out extra performance. Speaking of power, this card seems pretty efficient. It has a TDP around 110 watts. That's quite reasonable, yet reports suggest it still delivers really competitive frame rates, especially for gaming at 1080p on ultra settings in many modern titles. So, who should really consider this RX 7600 LP? It looks like a great fit if you're building an all-AMD system, if you value open standards, or if you just want excellent performance without necessarily going for the absolute top-tier option. It seems to offer a whole lot of capability. And finally, taking the crown at number one, we have what appears to be the undisputed champion of low-profile graphics cards right now the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 Low Profile. Specifically, we're looking at variants like the Asus BRK OC Edition. If you're building in a really small case but absolutely refuse to compromise on performance, this looks like the card to get. It really seems to be the perfect mix of that compact size and the seriously cutting-edge power. It comes loaded with 8GB of fast GDDR6 memory on a 128-bit bus. That provides a solid foundation and enough bandwidth for today's games and applications. But here's the really exciting part. It features NVIDIA's latest tech, including DLSS 3. Now, DLSS 3 is a bit of a game-changer. It uses AI to smartly generate entirely new frames, dramatically boosting your frame rates while keeping the picture looking sharp. Getting that kind of tech in a low-profile card is pretty amazing. Plus, you still get great ray tracing for those super realistic lighting effects. Performance-wise, this thing seems like a beast for its size. The Asus OC variant, for example, pushes clock speeds up to around 2520 MHz on boost. This translates to exceptional performance for 1080p gaming, and it even seems capable of handling 1440p quite well in many titles. And despite all that power, it's surprisingly efficient. It has a TDP of just 120 watts. That's fantastic because it means you likely won't need a massive power supply, making it perfect for those small form factor builds. Simply put, the RTX 4060 Low Profile looks like the best performance you can currently pack into such a small space. It's the top choice if you want maximum power in your mini build. Thanks for sticking around. For more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the channel. Click the bell icon too, so you'll get notified every time we drop a new video at Flexi Views.